Hey Alamance Arts friends, my name is Ann Brady and I am a local dance studio owner here in Burlington. Um, I hate that we can't be together this Saturday for Family Fun Day, but I thought I would give you a couple of ideas um, to celebrate Earth Day and be outside and do some movement. Okay, so there's two little activities that I'm going to show you how to do and then you can do them outside anytime you want. Um, a beautiful day right here, a little chilly outside today, but um, hopefully this weekend you can get outside and do one of these activities. So you just need a couple of things. The first one is called the tissue dance, okay? Um, and it's practicing your balance and um, your coordination and you don't have to do any fancy moves, just any sort of movement you want. So all you need is a tissue and you're gonna pick your favorite song whatever it is and get your parents to play it um, or your brother sister or grandparent whoever's with you and what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your tissue on your head and you're gonna try and dance around without it falling off of your head and if it falls off your head you're gonna try and catch it in some fancy way so take a look so you're gonna put it on your head and start the song and then you're gonna dance Ooh, and try and catch it and then put it back on your head see if you can do a spin and catch it it's a little tricky if it's windy put it on your head again do some other movement and catch it put it back on see oh I dropped it So have fun with that. See how long you can balance with it on your head and try and catch it, okay, with some sort of funky move, any sort of movement will do. So that's called the tissue dance, just something fun you can do it in your backyard. The other is called the dice movement game. So if you have a pair of dice, grab those, and then you'll just need a cup and some slips of paper. So you're going to take a slip of paper and write any sort of movement you want to. Um, jump like a frog. Um, I just chose gallop. Okay. Um, so write a couple movements down. Put them in a cup. Okay. So you're going to mix them around. Okay. And then you're going to choose one. So mine is jump like a frog. Okay. So then you would take your dice and you'll roll them and whatever you get, like if you get six, then you're gonna jump like a frog six times, okay? Um, you could do this in the grass again. Um, so, and then maybe I would choose another one. Big leap. So I would run in the grass and do run, run, big leap. Um, you can leap over a mud puddle or an alligator or anything that you can think of that's fun. Okay, so that's a fun game. Um, you just need some slips of paper and put some movement and you can do those outside. Um, this would have been our Earth Day uh, family fun day. Another thing you can do is a rain dance um, or you can come outside and do a spring weather dance. So any sort of movement that you wanna do. Um, get that body moving, enjoy the weather and enjoy this beautiful earth. Um, I hope you guys have fun this weekend um, and we would love to see what you've come up with if you want to videotape yourselves um, and send them our way that would be awesome so you guys have a wonderful weekend we miss you here at Alamance Arts and we hope to see you soon see ya of my fancy art friends. My name is Nancy Slot, and I love to read. So I thought if I get all dressed up and read to you guys, you'll see how much fun reading can be. So I thought a good adventure for today would be Fancy Nancy, fanciest doll in the universe. But before we get started, as loud as we can on the count of three, let's say ooh la la. One, two, three. Ooh la la! Do you have siblings? That's fancy for sisters or brothers. I do. Jojo is my little sister. 
My parents say she is a handful, which is polite for really naughty. One time, she hid from Grandma in the children's coat department. Another time, she poured Easter egg dye in her kiddie pool and dunked Frenchie in it. Last summer, she used up all of Dad's shaving cream to make it snow. But today, she did something despicable. That's fancy for a billion times worse than bad. Jojo gave Maribel a tattoo. She used indelible marker. Indelible means permanent, and permanent means it won't ever come off. No, never. Mirabelle asked for a tattoo, Jojo tells Mom. She wanted to look like a pirate, too. That's a big fat lie, I shout. Jojo gets a time out. Then, my mom tries consoling me. That's fancy for making me feel better. Nobody can see that tattoo, not with her clothes on. It doesn't matter. I know it's there, I say. Would this make you feel better? My mom shows me an ad in the newspaper. A gala is a very fancy party, she explains. All the girls will come with their dolls. A gala. I guess it couldn't hurt, I tell Mom. That afternoon, Mirabelle and I try to decide what to wear to the gala. We are both partial to purple, which means it's just about our favorite color. Later, I try to scrub off Mirabelle's tattoo, but it's a hopeless situation. That means absolutely nothing works. I am still not on speaking terms with Jojo when Mom and I leave the next morning. Ooh la la! We arrive at the Ardsley Park Hotel. It has a canopy and a red carpet out front. Double ooh la la! The gala is in the grand ballroom. Although many dolls are wearing the same ensemble as Mirabelle, she is the most beautiful by far. Mirabelle is the fanciest doll in the universe. Mirabelle rides on the doll carousel. I wave and shout, Bonjour! Bonjour every time she comes around. Then we wait in line at the photo booth to have our pictures taken. Mirabelle would love to go into the doll dress shop and try on ball gowns, but I am worried someone might see her tattoo. Instead, Mirabelle joins some of the other dolls for tea. She tells them her name is Mirabelle Lavinia Chandelier, and then says, Enchante, Cherie. That's French for pleased to meet you, darling. It's time for our tea now, my mom tells me. I grab Mirabelle, and we sit at a big table loaded with delicacies. That's fancy for a fancy food. I dab my lips with my napkin and try to remember to take very dainty bites. Soon, a lady announces the raffle. Everybody, look under your saucers. Whoever has the winning ticket number will receive a history doll gift certificate. At last, we do not win. Oh, well, Sherry, I say to Mirabelle, we still had a marvelous time. That's when I notice something strange. 
Mirabelle is not looking at me. Well, one of her eyes is, but the other eye isn't. And lots of her hair is missing in the back. I duck down and take off Mirabelle's dress. There's no tattoo! Right away I come to a shocking conclusion. That means I realize something horrible has happened. Mom, this isn't Mirabelle. This is somebody else's doll. People are starting to leave, but my mom tells me not to panic. She knows how to find Mirabelle. I listen and say okay because there really doesn't seem to be any other solution. In a flash, my mom rushes up to talk to the lady. Attention everybody! Kindly remain in your seats, the lady announces. Two dolls have gotten mixed up. Will everyone please look to see if your doll has uh, well, uh, uh, a drawing on its tummy? A moment later, a girl cries, Yikes! This isn't my doll. This doll has a tattoo. How mortifying for Mirabelle. That's fancy for humiliating which is fancy for very embarrassing. The girl and I exchanged dolls. My little brother cut off Lily's hair, she says, and he poked out one of her eyes. Oh, I sympathize with you. I know exactly how you feel, I tell her. My little sister gave Mirabelle the tattoo. On the way home, I cover Mirabelle's face with kisses. What a joyful reunion! That means it's great being together again. Now, without the tattoo, we might not have found Mirabelle, my mom points out. Are you saying what Jojo did was good? Because it wasn't. It was despicable, I say. I understand, Mom says. But Jojo won't always be so naughty. Little by little, she'll become more mature. She'll act grown up and responsible like you. Hmm. I hadn't thought about it that way before. I guess I'm not the only girl whose sibling is a handful. So I accept Jojo's apology. After all, it could have been worse. I still have Mirabelle, and to me, she will always be the fanciest doll in the universe. Now that concludes our adventure for today. But remember, the more you read, the more you learn. And the more you learn, the more you know. So read, read, read. I love you guys.
दिन तथा के दिन दिन कथा कथा तारी के तारी के तारी के तथा दिन तदरी तदन तक 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 जमा कर जुनो तद्दिमी दिमी तक तारी के तक तक के तद्दजम तक दिमी तारी के तक तारी के तक तारी के तक 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 तारी के तक था दिन तक के 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 तक कतता कुछ तक दिन दिन कत्तम कतता कुछ तक दिन दिन कत तक दिन में 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 तक दि